Hey guys, it's Helena and welcome back. So for the little intro, we've got a little cute puppy that you guys will be seeing later. Um, but today I'm going to be showing you guys what it's like to volunteer at my local animal shelter. And you guys are just going to come along with me and I'll show you everything that I'm doing throughout the shift. So it's two hours long and let's get started. So when we first get inside the building, we check in and then um, my mom puts all our stuff in lockers and I get these name tags out and write each of our names on them. Then we grab a green apron and each put one on. Now time to start our shift. So there's an upstairs and downstairs and they both kind of have some dogs and they have a little kitchen and a laundry room and um, we usually are upstairs but that looked kind of all taken care of so we headed downstairs and first we just kind of wanted to check out what dogs were there today and we said hi to some through the glass and then we started working on some laundry. So our routine for laundry is usually that I will fold the clothes that just were clean out of the dryer and my mom will put new ones in the washing machine because I don't really know how to use it. Also, I just like folding clothes a bit better than washing them. So this load of laundry was mostly just filled with big blankets. And it might look weird because there's people's faces on them, but a place that was like printing these just like donated like a ton to the shelter. So basically all the blankets just have like random family photos on them. And then at the bottom of the laundry basket, I just found this huge wad of leashes that were super, super tangled together. And it took me forever to like untangle the first one. All right, now after all the clean laundry was folded, we moved on to dishes. So there's kind of a whole process of how it works. So the first step is that we will take the dirty dishes and wash them off with soap and water. And then since there's all different types of sick and non-sick dogs here, we will put them in these sanitizing places. There's a sink for dog and cat bowls, and then there's a sink for litter pans. And they soak in there for five minutes. And then we take them out and just do one last rinsing and then they can get placed on the drying rack and then we usually just leave them there for the next person to dry. So the first step when we got there actually is we just dry the old dishes that were left there. Usually they're already dry so we can just kind of stack them up and put them in the different categories of the sizes of dishes. So that is how that works. Next we rewarded ourselves with some puppy playtime. So these puppies didn't have collars, so we actually got to carry them out to the playroom, which was very, like, sweet and fun. At the shelter that I volunteer at, you're not allowed to walk dogs until you're 18, even if a parent's walking them. So if we take out any dogs, we just take them in a playroom. Um, so we took out these really adorable puppies named Herbert and Helen. And, like, oh my god, they're so cute. Um, so, yeah, they're very soft, very fun, and... It's always so fun when there's puppies there because, you know, they're just amazing. And then, of course, we had to put little Herbert and Helen away. So we locked up the cage and wrote the time we took them out. And then we actually moved on to some more laundry because the washing machine had just ended the load. And we didn't really know what else to do, so we were like, sure, let's do it again. So as you just saw, we got some dog beds in this load. So I got to throw them up to the top shelf, which is very fun. And then I just rolled up some gowns because that was basically the whole load was mostly just gowns. Then I put away my little empty laundry hamper thing and my mom started a new load of laundry. And there was literally no other work to do. Usually it's like there's always something but I think this late at night everything was really caught up on so we decided to take out another dog. So I was just getting some toys and a leash so then my mom has to be the one to walk the dog over to the playroom. And this girl was very, very happy to get out of the cage. Um, I'm guessing that she hasn't been out in a little while because she had a cone. 
So I feel like people just kind of don't take out dogs with cones as often. Like not purposely trying to be rude to them, but I don't know. I just feel like sometimes that happens. Also, I was so proud of her by the end because she was having so much trouble getting her toy with her cone. And then she was just so smart and she figured out by the end how to grab the toy in the right way so that the cone didn't get in the way. Also, she would do the cutest thing where she would just jump on you and she would give you kisses and then you pet her and she would just look up at you and it was so cute. So, I can't wait till she finds her forever home because she's going to be an amazing doggy. Okay guys, so I'm back from my shift. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Um, I hope it was like kind of helpful to have a little insight of what people do when they volunteer. I know it's a little bit different for every shelter. But that's what I do. So it's pretty dark now, as you can see. Um, I've never actually done a shift at this time before because we had an eight to, I mean, six to eight shift. So um, that was kind of fun. Um, let me know also if you guys would ever like to see another video like this because it was very fun to film. And um, every day we go is kind of different, you know, different dogs and different things we need to get done. And soon we will learn how to take out kittens, which I'm very excited about. Um, I really wanted to show you guys some of the really, really adorable kittens, because sometimes I can see them through the glass. But since we were at, um, at night, there was like not very many dogs today and only like one entire cat I saw. Like there was like cats and there was just like only one and actually the thing of cat cages, you know? There's um, three different locations to the shelter that i volunteer at so the one that we volunteer at is the medical center so they have all the vet stuff um and everything like that so they probably just brought in a lot of dogs and cats to the main adoption center that people go to adopt animals um also i just thought i'd show you guys we got this little um bag which was kind of fun um when we were leaving she was just like yeah we're giving out these bags for all our volunteers it's actually very good quality so thank you <laughs> um here it is anyway um so thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video bye